Okay, so Larry has got a really good drill for us. Med ball drill, that's eight pounds? Yeah, eight pound med ball. So we're not going crazy, obviously, but like a good mid-weight med ball is actually a pretty interesting training aid for golf, and you've yes. used it quite a bit with students. Yes, yes, yeah, it's good for one, building sequence, Yes. but two, also building the speed where people ask, I think this is a good, very, very good follow-up video to the sequence drill video we did, because people are like, oh, like how do you create speed? Yes. If you're here, you don't use your arms. Well, we might not be using your arms in that video, but we do know the arms have a role in it. We're just trying to make sure the legs and the body power the arms for you. Definitely, and so what I was just thinking, um, we talked a little bit off camera about the med ball drill, and you had me do a couple, and I said to you, like a couple interesting things to me was I was feeling like, okay, because of the weight of the mm -hmm. ball, mm -hmm. I felt like this might be an interesting drill for the arm drift. Totally. Because the ball obviously weighs enough that like I get to here and I've turned, but I can't, I'm, I'm not gonna do this because yeah, the ball has weight. Ex exactly, exactly. And so that's one, which is great. Mm -hmm. And then from there, because you're in a good position, more compact backswing, not drifting, uh -huh. you must create power because of the weight of the ball, more with the lower body yes. sequence and the push through. Exactly. And the weight of the ball, if I wanna throw it into the net with like some power and speed, mm -hmm. You can't just, I mean, there's no way with, you're gonna have much speed just like giving it one of these. Exactly, but that's what most people do in the golf, in the golf that's the equivalent. Let's go yeah. through it. So I'm just gonna show you as a righty Please. first. Yeah. So the thing that you guys have to make sure you do is you maintain your width and your straight arms, right? right. So when we throw a med ball here, when we're, we're again, we're gonna toss it straight into the net as hard as we can. Yeah. Um, so when we, when we rock it, I, I'm gonna rock myself a little bit more forward to give myself a little bit more pressure shift back. Okay? So a little bit of kind of into the follow through and back. Exactly, so I'm kind of kicking in, kicking back. You see my arms isn't going really high. That's yes. not the purpose of this. I'm just loading it in a powerful spot. I feel loaded in my trail side. I feel like I can toss this ball the hardest from this spot right. with straight arms, Kay. not here. I no can't folding. toss the ball very, very powerfully like this. Kay. So I'm rocking, rocking, and as I change direction, mm. you see how my arms are still back? Yes. So like you just demonstrated, most people do this drill incorrectly if they were to do their golf swing version of it, which is exactly, they do, they may do this really well, but then they just do the arms. Yeah. And your body like stays that. facing Exactly. Me. Or the body gets dragged along for the ride. Yeah, which is sort of like a lot of people have that That's look. exactly it. But what we want is we want from here the body to go first. Yes. Right? So from here it's, you gotcha. can see my body finishes. Yeah. And then we go. And you've engaged quite a bit of like lower body motion. You've obviously lowered, like yes. pushing into the ground. Yes. And then you push back up. Exactly. And, and yeah. talk about the sequencing. One thing that I think this will really help people feel is the trail foot engagement. Okay. Yes, we want to get to the lead side of the golf swing, but if all I do is from here, just step into the lead side, yeah. I can't throw this ball as hard as if I were to use my trail foot to lead, and then my lead foot eventually kicks in to complement the trail so foot. So if you're here, you sort Correct. of just slow you down. Throw it into the ground. Fix it. Yeah, or, or, or do you do that. that, or you back up. Yeah, one of the two. Exactly. So, so let, let's see, okay. let's see you do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna now walk you through it. So both arms are really long right now, which is great. So you kind of do a little bit of a kickstart to rock it back. Hold it, so you can see he doesn't go very far, right? And because he stopped, he's actually up here. When he throws it, he probably just kind of go here and you just gotta throw it and load do. it. Exactly. Okay. Good, really good there. So did you feel pretty engaged with your legs, your body? What did you feel there? I kind of feel like as it came here, I felt uh -huh. my trail hip yeah. kind of pushing like down and then up and great, through. Great, great. So I almost, I almost feel like, you were asking me like, do you feel anything muscle wise? Uh -huh. It almost feels like that part of, uh, I guess the upper leg and hip are sort of like getting a bit of a workout with this yes, motion. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then the arms get flung After. off. Totally. Yeah. It's totally. sort of like when we talked about the, the map out drill last uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. It's almost a similar thing where the arms feel very kind of like passive and, right. and late. Right, but you are using your arms just later than what than what you would say. I probably don't feel my arms really until like here. Exactly, yeah. great, 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 totally, totally. Okay. Yeah, let's do it again, hard as you can. This is a max effort drill. So the key is you really need to, like you need to be trying to throw as hard as you can. Totally, yeah. So that's what you guys make sure it's either a cement wall or something that will not break. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so max effort here. Okay. Good, really good, really good. So now, so you have that feeling now, let's yeah. try to swing it with the yeah. actual driver now, okay? So whatever you felt with the ball toss, I want you to try to feel the exact same things, and then let's just see what happens. Okay.
It felt like a nicely sequent swing for mm. sure. So does that, does that, I mean, I know it's only the first one, we did a little bit off camera. Yeah. Like how does that feel, or does it feel different than what your driver swings felt like before the ball toss? So I'll tell you what, it feels different than before the toss. I feel more like compact here uh -huh. in terms of like, I don't feel like I'm really drifting uh, as long. Like the arm swing feels like it stops sooner. Yes. Great. And then from there, I feel like rather than my arms powering the downswing, I felt like it was more of like a hip driven motion. Yes, yes, totally. So, so let's watch, let's watch that first one. Sure. We'll, we'll try again, but let's just watch that first. That's a better look, I think. I mean, I, I would love to be more rotated in mm -hmm, the future mm -hmm. working on this, but I generally like that, that left um, trail foot stays too flat, too long. Totally. To me, that looks like I rotated totally. better. Like I like trail foot on the ground more for irons because okay. it wants good stability, but for a driver, when we're trying to max throw. You want more. The trail foot will come up for a driver, okay? Gotcha. And, you, and you, you're really trying your best to just copy the engagement of the ball toss. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. I love Mostly that. Mostly thinking about that. I like that. Yeah, let's, let's do one more, then we'll, we'll toss the ball again. Yeah, that one felt pretty good, too. Flights here look great. So yeah, let's, talk, let's toss the ball again. Okay. I'm going to actually film a face on of you sure, for yeah, the ball. Maybe it'll, be, maybe it'll get for people to watch. Good. Really good. Really good. That's good effort there. So... So much, what do you get? See how much turn you get? So the turn yeah, and so the arm stop at the same time. Interesting. And then from there. Yeah, the legs are doing a lot more. Yeah, see that? Your arms actually do come higher than I was anticipating. In the, in the back in swing. In the back swing. So uh, more. Maybe just around waist one. high is fine for now. I like that. Because to keep it smaller here, it will then really for you really uh, go as hard as you want. So I'm almost. I'm, I'm saying like it feels shorter, but I'm kind of cheating it here. Yeah. If I go back a little bit shorter, yeah, then keep I have it to. exactly. So so do that. So do the backswing only. So like, just keep it here. You're kind of basically loading into your left pocket. Gotcha. You feel that? Below hip height. Below would be the best way. Wise. To do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So as hard as you can. Good. Really get there. Really good. So That's much different. better there. Yeah. I see what you mean. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A it actually better. flows a little bit better. It does, yeah. I see what you mean. See that? Versus the previous one. And this is a pretty heavy ball. Eight pounds is not that light. No. Especially when you raise it that high. Yeah, I was giving it, so I was in fact using more length than actually mm -hmm. pushing. Okay, good. So below hip height. You said it's actually more engagement here, Definitely. right? Definitely. Good, really good, really good. So this time, so you feel more, a little bit more now, now that the swing is shorter, right? Yes. So now, I want you to make the back swing even a little bit, little bit more flowy. So right now, it still looks a little, because we're learning it, it looks yep. a little methodical. Okay. Maybe now just, uh, okay. add a little bit more flow to it. So more A little bit more aggression. So separation almost between and the... You're going to create more separation because you're going a little faster. Okay. I want more aggression here, okay? More aggression. Yep. Good. Really good. So now let's, let's hit again. Okay. Try to feel the yeah. same aggression. Uh, same aggression, same everything. To me, that was a, a different feeling motion for sure. In what way? Uh, much more compact and structured mm -hmm. in the backswing. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like I basically was able to swing almost as fast as normal with less kind of like floaty arms. Yes. So let's... It is shorter. You see how the club is actually pretty much up parallel now? Okay. Before, if I showed you the last one, you can actually see your hands under. See that? Yeah. Like it's under versus this one. Yeah, dude. That's what it felt dude, like. Dude, yeah. do that. Okay. Do that. Max that. Max that out. Because your real swing looks nothing like that. Of course. Yeah. Okay. If you miss, you miss. Okay. That was better effort there. That was better flow and fluidity there. But the good thing is you feel the differences in your engagement. I feel the differences in my engagement. And if I look at what felt like a waist high swing to me, I could still swing within a mile or two of my full exactly, swing. Exactly. And I know that I'm using the, the bigger muscles of my body more efficiently. Exactly. Good. So this is just a waking up phase of, of the muscle yeah. engagement. As you do this more, the numbers will rise. Gotcha but you can really see how different this looks. The club is actually short, slightly shorter par That's parallel, cool, which yeah. is great. It's just kind of fascinating to me. Obviously, like, as you said, we're not worrying about where the ball goes uh -huh. and the strikes, uh -huh. but in terms of the club head speed and even some of the ball speed, 
I literally feel like I'm making a waist high swing. Mm -hmm. The result is not nearly as totally. exaggerated. Totally. And then obviously because I haven't gone here and I'm here, I'm forcing myself to use these muscles. Yes. Otherwise you can't create speed with yes. arm drift anymore. And then later on, like we, we talked about the verticals before. Yeah. You combine this no drift swing mm. with the sequencing mm. with high verticals. And now you have a ton of speed. Yes, so maybe with we, predictability. With predictability. Yes. So maybe we use this as a bridge. So I'll do some med ball toss stuff in between mm -hmm. and obviously hit some balls. Mm -hmm. And then once I get a little bit better handle on this sequencing, then we can start to feel that drill with, with more the verticals. Ver exactly. And then we go back to the swing, better backswing with more verticals exactly. and better sequencing. Exactly. More speed videos coming soon. Uh, that's a really good drill. I'm going to work on that to improve my sequencing and get less drifty with the arms. Once I get a better handle on that, Larry and I will fire up the swing cat again, mm -hmm. and we'll try to incorporate that into back into that vertical force totally. uh, plate work, and then we'll try to see if we can uh, press the personal best of club head speed and yeah, stuff maybe in a few weeks. Yeah, I'll be fine. Awesome. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.